Welcome back fellow armchair generals. This is Gamer1745 here with my continuing playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4 playing as the United States of America. Okay. Let's continue this. Okay, computing machines. Mm, I don't know. Okay, military construction has been completed. Gives us a bunch more factories. The giant wakes. Let's see if China has any chromium. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we want trade, not diplomacy. Asia. Oh, we're not looking at chromium. That would help, wouldn't it? Um. Yes, they do. Nine. So we want some chromium. There we go. Hopefully that. Will, hopefully they'll build the factories in a good space, not right next to where the Japanese are going to take them, and end up funding Japan more than China. Okay, carrier task force. That's good. Start that production. Get
Okay, that will help us. The giant wakes. Hmm. And let's see. Aircraft designer. I would have made this instead of the um, <coughs> grease gun, which would have been more appropriate for here, time frame wise. I would have done that as the M1 Garand <coughs> instead of the bolt action, because that's supposed to be an M1 Garand. They don't think it's like a bolt action rifle. Okay, yeah, well. So much I want to get done, so much I want to get done. One of the things I want to see, and there's been a lot of talk about it, I just haven't, I've been mostly, not almost exclusively, but not quite, playing is um, Germany. I wanted to see how Germany behaves um, when the AI is doing the historical, because there's been a lot of talk about them declaring war on lots of people that all at once, and they can't even manage, you know, half of the wars that they start, so that makes them incredibly weak, you know. So, and of course, Munich Agreement and France bans communism. Soviet withdrawal. The Union appears to have unexpectedly withdrawn. It's in there. Okay, let's see how that works out. Will Japan declare war on them? And just have more crazy enemies? Okay, well good.
North Carolina class. Okay, research is finished on that. Expanding of the economy for the moment. They're going to reduce our production costs, but make the vessels less good. For these, will just make greater range, basically. Better visibility, or have better visibility and max speed. And if we just want to <coughs> make better. M3 Steward. I like the little steward. It was good tank in its day. Now. China's doing okay, it looks like. Yeah, let's go with towed any aircraft. Get some of those into production. Oh, 
let's improve the tank model. Okay, carrier primacy, that's good. Hmm, let's go with air support. I think maybe... Well, I don't know. Well, what time they sort of strategic bombing were... Well, they were big into strategic bombing, the U.S. was at this time, I would say, or at least... Billy Mitchell was pushing that. Or before now, I don't remember exactly. He got court-martialed for some of his attempts at pushing those type of things. I almost want to say antics, but I don't know if that's quite the right term. Well, let's add bomber type into it. Okay, floating airfield for the carrier. Okay, just wanted to go over to 39. Prove production. I presume it would change over to a shorter time period, but just yeah, not absolutely sure. So, waited a day. Oh, let's go with naval carrier, naval bomber. We'll need those for our carriers. And let's also trade rubber Europe. Give another one to Britain. No. Just want 16. This button is too small. But yeah. Now, dog fighting experience or fighter sweeps. Let's do dog fighting experience. How is our lend lease doing with China here? More rifles, get them. You gain some army experience from that. Okay, German, the German Reich claims memo. Well, isn't that special? So they got that province slash state slash whatever. Okay, air support. Focus. Hmm. 
Let's secure the Caribbean a little bit more. Okay, we have a few more of these garrison brigades made. Don't know if this is a good plan, but let's see about being a little more prepared. Yes, I do understand the concentration of military power, but these are just garrison brigades, after all. Can't enter the province? Isn't there a port here? Or is this France? Oh, that's probably France. Blue, wrong. Okay. Hmm, so we can't even come here? That is interesting. Indeed it is. Okay, well. We'll have to see about building. Can we get to here? No. Oh, what? Well. What is it? Is it not? Is it because we can't get there because it wants to go to a port first. thought it was smart enough to realize that it would. It would automatically get. Okay, oh yeah, this is France. Different color blue, but whatever. And we will send you to here and then walk you across the land bridge there. Okay, more civilian factories are free. So we're using four factories to get trade goods, but we're getting 16 factories from selling our goods. The fate of Czechoslovakia, so it goes bye-bye, and Zog. King Zog is deposed in Albania. 
Well, Japan, uh, China's doing very nicely, actually, here. They're still controlling Beijing and the uh, region. Okay, the Caribbean Sphere has been secured. Let's do War Plan Orange. Well, let's go with that. Creaser. Army experience there. Let's build some transports. takes a very high attrition level so we want to <coughs> make sure we have good reserves on some of that as well as maintaining our okay well we still have a lot of those so let's see if we can dump more of those p1 on china Oh, well, we'll let the trade continue with China there. They can use the help. Italy joins the Axis. France and coming. I thought we already had that. Molotov. Ventrop. Mobile defense. And Italy joins the Axis. Well, we're going to take this opportunity to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for liking the videos. Of course, please post comments, suggestions, questions, whatever. See you next time.